Santana liking nothing better at the moment than to reach and tag his partner, Rick Martel. Santana plants an elbow. And another one. Zukov hammers away, scoops up Santana, drives him down to the canvas once again. Sets for the yard, misses the elbow. Zukov better get over and tag. He can't let Santana move like that. He's got to slow him down. Santana makes the tag. Here comes Rick Martel. Look at him go. Martel setting up Boris Zukov off the rope. Face for the hip toss. Catch ah, yeah. Oh, you like that? What's the purpose of that? He was just warming up, keeping the momentum going. Back, body time. Martel trying to get him over. Here it comes, baby. It may yes, the Boston Crab. Santana keeps Fulkov away. That's it, the first ball. I can't believe ball. the submission. I can't believe it. Oh, yeah, the first ball going to the strike force. The first ball as a result of the submission. Strike force. Strike force, strike force. And of course, we're all looking forward to the long awaited World Wrestling Federation rematch, the Hulkster against King Kong Bundy. We are back at the Capitol Center in the shadow of the nation's capital and the strike force and the Bolsheviks going at it. How about that? Broke up over the top rope. He had no business being in there anyhow. Well, that's Boris Zukov now, double team, and it's going to have to be Martel in there with Zukov to start things off. Now that's the way we left off, that's the way we began. And Martel's going for the crowd again, I can't believe this could be too straight. Quick. All right, here we go again. No, Nikolai coming in. Well, you Santana can't. coming in, all four wrestlers in there. Come on, Raps, you're going to have to get control of this matchup. You can't really blame Nikolai because Boris Zukov was in a compromising position. Martel had him beat. I'll grant you that. Wait a minute. There was no tag either. I don't think Volkov should be in the ring. I didn't see the tag. Did you? I did not see a tag either. I got to be honest about it, McMahon. You know I tell it like it is. I did not see one. But the referee is letting it go on. Two in. Whoa. Off the left side, duplex by Volkov. Volkov and Martel. Just a second fall. We may go to three. These big, powerful Russians in control at the moment. Here's another cover. Uh-huh. Well, Santana coming in, turnabout's fair play, Jesse. I suppose so. I'll tell you, Volkov's got the right idea now, though. He needs to do power moves like he's doing here on Rick Martel. That'll keep the advantage Ooh. in the Bolsheviks' favor. Back made here. Big Boris Zukov in there against Rick Martel. Martel fired off and got nowhere. Look right. at this. Zukov using that huge head of his as a battering ram. I think Martel hit Zukov in the worst possible place you could, the head. Martel wide open, look at this. More headbutts only down below a moment ago by Nikolai Volkov. Volkov ramming his head again. Huge neck on Nikolai Volkov. Well, I don't ever want to hear you accuse the, the Bolsheviks of not using their head again, McMahon. Well, there's one way to use your head and then another. Just like Martel just did out of the corner. Nice mule kick out of the corner. Martel reaching for the tag and is stopped right in his tracks by Nikolai Volkov. Well, it's do or die situation here for the, for the Bolsheviks because they're one fall down. They cannot afford to lose another fall. Santana was coming. Come on, Rob, get control of this thing. Ooh, curving a knee into the chest area. We get one, two, and that's all. Nikolai Volkov and Rick Martel trying to set him up now. Off the ropes, back body drop, no! Right on top of him! Sunset flip did not work, he can't keep that big Russian down that way. No way, no way, oh, they're that? both down. Colliding together, Martel and huge Nikolai Volkov, and I would think it'd be Volkov who gets up first. Well, we got a race now. It may not look like a race, but it's a race to see who can get to the corner first and make a tag. Indeed, tag is made. Here comes Boris Zukov. He's going to try to win Martel for tag. That idiot Boris just shut Martel into Santana, and the tag was made. Idiot. Well, what a drop kick by Santana. Oh, there's one for Volkov as well. Tito Santana up again, down again. He's all over the place. I know the tactics. The Bolsheviks are trying to wear him out. What a forearm. Cover that man. What? Oh, come on. Referee has got to maintain some control here. Again, we've seen time and time again. All four wrestlers in the ring. Well, that's Wait a minute. Wait a He's minute. Got the cane. Referee's back has turned. Volkov hammers his own man. Oh. A cover by Santana. Yes. Oh, not even Zukov's head could withstand that. 
Santana Martel with a twist of fate and a victory in two straight balls. It took a foreign object to do it, though. They're temporary champions. There's a lot more to go with 88. McMahon, this is just the beginning. Indeed. Zukov being comforted by the Slickers. We take a look at the World Wrestling Federation Tag Team Champions. Turning by right now, me and Gene Oakland, along with Mr. Fuji. And I believe someone that's with Mr. Fuji. All right, tonight, Jake the Snake Roberts with one of the most devastating moves in all of professional wrestling, the DDT to meet the Savage Sika, managed by you, Mr. Fuji. What do you got going here? <laughs> what, what is this? <laughs> this is dinner. <laughs> what, what, do you, what do you mean, dinner, Mr. Fuji? Damien. What do you mean, uh, this is dinner for Damien? No, Damien is dinner. <laughs> You've got to be kidding me. Like a hot dog, Mr. Fuji, please. Oh, like a hot snake. Oh, you've got it's to be kidding me. Set. Come on, Sika. What kind of a battle let's, is this going to be? I cannot see. believe it. Vince, let's go back to you. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. That man is a savage. I'm not too <laughs> sure he should be allowed to step into the ring. I'll tell you something, McMahon. I have to ask, is that how you eat your snake with mustard? I don't eat snake. Oh. That man sure will, I'll tell you that. I think that man would eat anything, and he could very well eat not just the snake, but maybe Jake the Snake Roberts as well. What a matchup this is going to be, however. Damien may be striking back, and Jake may be striking back to the DDT. Mean Gene is with him right now. All right, uh, Jake the Snake, I'm sure you observe the unusual eating habits of the Savage Sika. Does, does that concern you at all? Come on, Gene. You know better than that. It doesn't concern me, and it darn sure doesn't concern Damien. Because once you step into that squared circle, you've got to realize something. I respect what you got, but you've got to think about the DDT, the most awesome holding professional wrestling today. So what I'm telling you is this, Sika. If you think I'm going to walk up to you and slap you in the face and say, take your best shot, you're wrong. Because if I was going to rob a bank, Gene, I would go in the back door where nobody's at home. You're the one that seems a little bit jumpy. Well, of course, of course I'm jumping. Did you see that eight-foot bun and all that mustard? Yeah, I see. I'll tell you what I think I'll have Damien do. 